Now let's look at the topic of view serializability. So for that you should understand what is view equivalent. So let's try to understand what is view equivalent and if a transaction sorry a schedule if it is view equivalent to other schedule which is serial then you can call this schedule as view serializable. So what I mean to say is okay let me read out the points here you will understand it. A serial schedule and a non-serial schedule are said to be view equivalent if they satisfy all the following conditions. So there are three conditions. First condition is if Ti reads initial value of A in S then Ti should also read initial value of data item A in S dash. So what does it mean? If Ti is going to read a value in the schedule S let us say data value is A. Right, so whoever reads the initial value of A in one schedule should also read the initial value of A in the other schedule. Right, the, that is the simple meaning of it, which means whoever reads it first should read it first in the other side. Okay, and the next one is if TJ produces final write operation of A in S, then TJ should also perform the final write operation of A in S, which means for every data item A whoever writes it in the last should write the should write it in the last in both the trans uh, schedules got it and if tj reads a value produced by ti in s then tj must also read the value produced by ta in s dash so the, we are using s and s dash so where s, s is a serial schedule and s dash is a non serial schedule which means you can think of them basically as two different schedules okay now the third point is saying that if there is any write read dependency which means if one trans one transaction is writing let us say w i of a what does it mean i is writing data item a uh, you know in the schedule now in one schedule if it is whatever is written by i let us say is read by j right so if they are like this which means whatever is written by i is read by j then in the other schedule also the same thing should happen whatever is written by i should be read by j right so basically in order to summarize this you can put it as if you know there are three simple points first thing is whoever reads first in one schedule should read first in the other schedule and the second one is whoever write last in one schedule should write last in the other schedule and the third point is if there is any uh, write read dependency that should be in the same order that is the meaning of it okay now if two schedules are following these three rules then we can say that both are view equivalent now if one of the schedule happens to be non-serial and other schedule happens to be serial then we can say that that particular non-serial schedule is view serializable because there is at least one serial schedule to which it is equivalent to right okay now let's see this <coughs> let's see this example now here we have two transactions and using these two transactions we have made two schedules right so let us say this is s1 and this is s2 now this s1 is completely a serial schedule if you observe it right and s2 is not a serial schedule now i want to find out whether these two are view equivalent or not okay whether these two are view equivalent or not now how to test it just see what are all the data items you have and compare both of them right so what are all the data items you have one is one data item is a is it visible one data item is a and other data item is b right now let's see who reads it first and who writes it last in both of them now i'm just writing it this way let us say in schedule s1 who reads it first and who who writes it last okay so let's see this in schedule s1 who reads it first a t1 reads it first okay isn't it and who writes it last if you look at a there is a right and again if you look at a there is a right so among all the rights to a the last one to write is t2 are you getting this who is reading it first t1 and who is writing it last t2 therefore i am just writing it this way so for a t1 is reading it first in schedule s1 and t2 is writing it last now i want to test the same thing in schedule s2 also right okay in schedule s2 i want to see who is reading and who is writing 
okay now see this in schedule s2 who is reading it first t1 okay fine and who is writing it last if you see this is right here this is not because there are only two data items if you see a is there and b is there that is why only i am ready for two data items okay now for b who is reading it first so in s1 look from here right so for b this one is reading therefore t1 is reading it first now who is writing it last go from the bottom and you see where is right of b so right of b is here therefore t2 is writing it last okay now coming to this s1 s2 who is uh, reading b first come from the bow so here there is right so t1 is reading b first therefore t1 and who is writing this first last who is writing b last come from the bottom here you see it therefore t2 is writing it okay so first rule and second rule are satisfied so what is what does first rule and second rule say whoever reads it first should read it first there and whoever writes it last should write last there right that is how we got it okay and now the third rule says that if there is any read you know write read dependency that should be in the same order which means uh, i'll just show you with an example now if you observe this here coming to data item a t1 is writing and t2 is reading isn't it this is what has happened now coming to data item b also t1 is writing and t2 is reading got it now in the other side also same thing should happen so if t2 is reading from t1 other side also same thing should happen right coming to a see this coming to a here there is a read a who has written it because of this he is getting it right see this now whatever is written by t1 is being read by t2 right and then there is read b here and again there is right here which means for b also same thing has happened right therefore right read actions are in the same order so the third rule also has been satisfied so we can say that s1 is view equivalent to s2 right now if you observe this s2 is a non serial schedule which is view equivalent to a serial schedule therefore we are able to find out a serial schedule to which it is equivalent to and so we can call that s2 is view serializable got it so s2 is view serializable okay fine